And now, the conclusion. Um... At least I have a chair. Can I sit down and pretend nothing is happening? Am I supposed to be running towards this sound? Yeah. And now we're probably... You know what? Before before something horrible happens, I'm gonna save. Anything interesting on TV? No? Just static? See, if there were, like, freak-out sections in here without being chased, I think that would be really cool. Let's hope I chose wisely. Going. What is happening? Oh, I get it. No, 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 no. No, I went to the wrong door. I didn't want him. This seems like a door that was staticky, right? Maybe. Get away. Yeah, it seems like a puzzle of which door is the best door. No, this one doesn't. What about this one? Yep, this one seems like it. Now, how will I know what the static is caused from? The Satan's or from the door that I need to access? finally got somewhere after running away for god knows how long. I'm not going to tell you because that's embarrassing. Okay, okay, it's a puzzle zone, right? It's a puzzle. I hope. Well, this bed looks really frigid. What amount of action could go on over here? Yes, I also walk on the walls when I am disturbed. And the ceiling! It really helps relieve stress. What is this madness? A couch on the floor? What are you trying to tell me, game? Who am I? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's rather random. Oh, it's it's us in the... I thought I was actually a knight with a sword, but no, it's the, the beginning video. Okay, Satans, you've made your point. I am crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah, just just jump down. Apparently, apparently that that's something that you've become used to. Being accustomed to being thrown off buildings. Just giving me motion sickness. Nobody loves your daddy. Your daddy's stupid. Oh, not here again. Oh, oh. No, I can't leave this invisible room. Oh, I see. I guess I need to. The shadows pre prevent me. 
Invisible walls. Invisible walls everywhere. I'll get to you soon enough, honey. There we go. That was easier than I expected. Ah, uh, so, sweetie. So I take it. You're not in the mood for a quickie. Oh, please stop. Oh, pull down. I thought I could hide in there. I am going to save very, very fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dick move. Dick move. You could have at least waited for me. I'm back in this exact same zone. I don't want to be in this zone again. Still no map. Hooray! Randomly assaulting doors. This door is icier than the rest. Maybe there's something behind it? You're not behind it! Get away from me! Maybe I need to go into the icy doors. Maybe that's the trick of this one. Yes, there's always an icy door, icier door than the rest. Stop chasing me! You need to chill out. Come on, nice door. Come on, nice door. Watch it be not like that. Oh, yeah, it is apparently the trick. I thought it wouldn't be the trick and I was just running around in circles like an idiot. Or an idiot. Depends on what you like to say. I am a democratic person. Okay, so we're not crazy. Cheryl does exist. But am I Harry Mason? Cheryl. This is your That room. picture does not look like a seven-year-old. I think she's older. But you're not in it. <laughs> no shit, Harry. Don't sleep in the other world. That's not a good idea. Why would you do that? Psychiatrist? You know, I think we're getting somewhere. Are we? We're all tied up in this marriage thing. Marriage worked a lot better when we didn't live so long. We have phrases like the honeymoon is over to remind us how quickly marriage is sour. You think I'm being cynical? Divorce does that too. Yeah, too. yeah, you're not being objective here. Come on, you think marriage can really last? Yeah, yeah, I do actually. I think you're letting your own bitterness color your worldview. You're kind of bitter and you throw things out that don't have any relation to what just happened just so you can talk about them and think that you're all deep. I think I'm, I'm going to analyze you now, Mr. Psychiatrist. Should a couple stay together for the kids? No, I don't believe they should. Because it creates a toxic environment if the, if both parents hate each other. I think it's much more healthy if the couples get a divorce. Because that way, they, they, they you could, getting a divorce does not mean getting a divorce from the kids. But them staying together and fighting all the time, that that is not good environment for a child to grow up in. That is my opinion anyway. Do you think it's a bad idea to marry young? Hmm, how young do you think, if you're talking about like 17, 18, 19, I think it's, I don't think there's a rule really, that there's a lot of, there's a high divorce rate in all age groups, I don't think that young is specifically worse, but I do think that you should probably know a little bit more about the world and how you feel about yourself before actually committing. 
So, what was the question again? Oh shit, I, I didn't... I didn't know which one is yes or no now. Let me... Let me look up the question. Okay. Okay, do you think it's a bad idea to marry young was the question. I don't think it's a bad idea, but I think it's kind of rushed, and I think you should probably learn more about yourself and your uh, your spouse or whatever before committing, so... There's no in-between, so I'm going to have to lean slightly yes, so that I'm slightly no, but know that I am not exactly clear-cut on it, yes or no, because I know a lot of people who married young and are fantastic, and a lot of people who married older and hate each other, so... I guess I lean slightly more towards yes, slightly though. You think sex becomes stale after marriage? I don't think so, man. You know what? You being such an expert on marriage, you're going to ace my match. You know what? Fuck you, man! On the table are six pictures. All you have to do is sort them into three married couples. Like, how would I even... How would you even go around doing that? Is gay marriage allowed? It apparently is. <laughs> okay, um... But there's no rule! This is, this is stupid, man. I'm just, just gonna pick some pictures at random, because... How would you even know? I think what they want me to do is look like, oh... Um, there is a couch over here, and a couch over here, so these two must love each other, or something. We have some two ladies and two men marrying each other. Okay, fine, whatever, I don't care. There's, there's really no rule, you guys. Like, how can you tell from a picture? It's like the freaking sleeping, uh, test. Or whatever he was doing. I, I just threw two pictures together at random, don't think anything about it. All finished. Yeah, because you can't freaking determine who loves who based on pictures. It's stupid. Okay. Now tell me which of those couples are still together. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I'm just trying to provoke you, right? Doing a horrible job at it. Oh, let's keep going. We're really making progress here. Sarcastic asshole. Harry? Harry? Were you dreaming? Are you okay? What are you doing here? This place is... Your home, right? I saw the photos of you in the corridor, you and your family. Cheryl isn't here. I'm sorry. The woman said Cheryl was at the lighthouse. The lighthouse closed down years ago. Now I need to go there. John and I can drive you there. We'll take the lake road. Oh, thank, thank God I don't have to run there. Thank God. How does everybody find me? So you're Harry. John. Well, don't mind me. I'm sure you two have lots of catching up to do. John, don't be silly. John, are you one of those jealous asshole boyfriends? We just met today, literally. Nice car you got, John. I always wanted one of these. But when Cheryl was born, we graduated to the family car club. Trunk space wins out over engine size. I'd swap the car for a family any day. Though I'm happy enough with just John for now. Cut it out, Michelle. Huh? It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. Don't mind me. This isn't how I wanted things to go. It's not Harry's fault. I Nothing mean... to do with Harry. I mean this. Us. I wanted to make things clear. I wanted to do things right. What are you saying? Awkward. This reunion, this weekend. I wanted to come see you to talk things through. Talk? About our relationship? Michelle, there is no relationship. Please, don't do this. Not now. Jim. If not now, when? Where? Christ, Michelle, I've been trying to do this for months. But you don't want to hear it. Now we have a witness. Maybe you'll listen. You're just tired. Aren't you not thinking right? It's been too long since we've been together. No. No, Michelle. I was hoping to do this right, but I need to do it. We've been running on empty for a long time. Living on fumes. It isn't a relationship, it's a courtesy. I still love you. It can't be over. It is. You don't love me. You love the John in your head. Please. I can't listen to this. 
I can't do this anymore. John! It's okay, I'll just drive myself to the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, suckers. Okay. People doing you a favor, you rob them. That's how the world works, apparently. Poetry is precise as geometry. No, it's not. Well, I guess let's go after the loving couple. Stupid loving couple. Guys! Could somebody please drive me? Why is everybody doing this to me? Why can't I meet the person for more than two minutes? Well, at least it's it's straightforward road, right? There's no lefts and rights. I guess I need to get to that red point. But I should go see where are where they are. Where, where, what happened to them, guys? I mean, come on. I'll keep out if I want to, but I don't. Something tells me this is not one of my smartest moves. But... I need to find them. I don't think they went into the sewers, that's stupid. Oh, I thought it was a shadow of a person standing there. Getting jumpy all way, foul! Folly boy! Foul station! I don't think this is wise. I'm just gonna go back and run to the lighthouse. Watch it be necessary that I have to go through here and that I uh, just wasted everyone's time. I hope it's just for mementos. I don't really wanna. I don't feel like going off on a, a weird search quest right now. Just want to get to the stupid lighthouse and see if Cheryl is all right. Ah, this is so messed up. Invisible wall. Fantastic. Are you kidding me, game? Ugh. What would drive a sane person instead of running on the road out in the open to go to a place? You'd go like, you know what? It makes more sense that I go through the sewers. Maybe we can call Michelle and see where the balls she is? Hi, you're through to Michelle. I'm doing something exciting. Yeah, doing something exciting, like fighting about your relationship. That's the most exciting thing I've ever seen. Was that a number on the wall? No. By the way, to that one person, that British person who was curious what 999 did, I'm like 90% sure it does nothing. Yeah, makes no sense. This is the US. It doesn't connect to 999. Sorry about last night. I was upset. You were upset. I get it. What? No! Stop confusing me, game! With your dead characters talking to me. Watch Lisa being alive, like, in the next scene. She's be like, oh, Harry, why are... Oh, balls. Cheryl! Cheryl? Daddy? You shouldn't come. No, sweetie, it's I... It's not safe. Please, don't come. We can't take that. We, we, we can't. We can't take that as a defeat. Cheryl, sweetheart! We will come and we will save you! Come on, you stupid wheel! There we go. I wonder 
wonder where we are on the map right now. No! No! <laughs> no! I refuse veto every single way you can show that you hate it. No, no, I refuse to go to the fucking amusement park. No. No means no, game. No means no. <sighs> Who am I kidding? Next time on Silent Hill, we go to the amusement park. Aren't you excited? I'm sure you're just really excited. <sighs> Till next time, take care, guys. Stay away from Satan's. Goodbye. Cold faded photos, they lay by your side. Something in my room, never mind the reason. Visions are lying, and reasons just live to survive. This time, the cold, the cold, the light. The fear, the fear returning. It's not, it's not.